Hello everyone and welcome back to High Plane Games. Simon here with the latest episode of Motorsport Manager, number 80 I believe. We're proper getting into grandpa territory. Still going well, third and sixth in the championship for drivers and second in the teams. We're not out of it yet. I feel like we're facing a little bit of an uphill battle though, but Steinman may do well for us because so long as Becker and Costa don't have good runs on things, we'll be okay. Uh, looking at the old mail first, let's just see what's in here. So yes, yeah, so we got a car uh, update with our new gearbox had arrived as soon as we got to here. Which of our drivers is better? I'm not answering that. Oh, I hate it when they do that and it ruins my marketability. My sponsors aren't exactly rolling around in so much fun anyway. Makes me sad. So yeah, so we've got this new gearbox which has come through. Look at how off it is. So what we're going to need to look at doing is I'll fit the gearbox in. Now, who am I going to stick it on? Um, I'm quite tempted actually to go with Barney um, because he's doing so much better in the driver's championship at the moment so I feel like we owe it to him uh, but what we're going to need to do is essentially as soon as that car is upgraded strip everything out and then just go hell for leather on upgrading that gearbox to make it worthwhile uh, that gearbox is still the better gearbox isn't it yeah, they're kind of this they're the same anyway, aren't they? So that will be fine there. Um, <clears throat> what I was pondering, though, just before I kind of got going, was what do we do with our suspension? Because uh, I thought, in my head at least, I was thinking, right, well, we could go for a second suspension and really pull it up, because look at that, an extra 40 in the race is really helpful there. But then so is it on the old gearbox front, because it's our gearbox is our weakest part of the car, as it has traditionally been forever and a day. Um, <clears throat> but our suspension is kind of our, potentially our next worst thing. <laughs> so I'm a bit like, hmm, what should I do? But then we could also grab a new rear wing while we're at it. I know we've got a great rear wing, but why not uh, accentuate our bestness on that? So... What I may well go for, do I go for it? Do I go for it? Let me take a quick look again at my old fitted parts before I decide on the old rear wing, because we've just got a couple of averages, haven't we? We've not actually got a good, <laughs> because uh, we didn't go for it. So it's it, it's kind of one of those, a hey, do we push it through or not? Um, which in my head I think no. <laughs> so I think we'll leave that there. So do we then look at trying to do the same again with suspension? We've unlocked epic stuff, but that's essentially we're going to design for a suspension that's not going to be ready in time, aren't we? Uh, and same for gearbox if we go for an improvement again. So it makes it very difficult to understand exactly what we want to do. Um... <sighs> Oh, yeah, right. I've decided. So on the on the epic feature, having no red zone would be amazing, wouldn't it? Because at the minute, um, forty percent reliability. That's twenty twenty. So if I put an extra five days of build time on, yeah, we're going to massively miss everything. <laughs> uh, but hello, no red zone in that car. Superb. So, um. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, that would... Uh, uh, I don't want to go risky. It's it's too risky to go risky. Um, but that doesn't really push us much further, does it? And we could go with that. God, the suspension is going to be very expensive. Um, medium speed corners plus 10 and then 
I guess. Yeah, I'd rather do that and then have it go. And then we won't need to touch the suspension, suspension again. That is essentially going to be ready for the next time around. <laughs> so that is a huge part. And it's a huge investment. But that essentially keeps us going now until probably the end of the year. <laughs> so uh, let's look at that. There was a new pit crew that came in hiring as well, but I'm not too fussed about that. So let's do a car repair. Let's see how that looks. Yay, the car is finished. Okay, so let's dive straight in for improvements here. So we want to kick out Certainly that gearbox. In fact, we can get rid of all of that and stick that just purely in there. Um, I'm quite conscious. I, know I want this to be... Oh, wow. So it's not necessarily going to be ready, ready. Okay. Let's do a couple of days of this. What was that? Esteban's invited to a stock car. Plus one braking, plus four, five marketability. Nice. Yay for Vancouver forecasting. Yeah, I know we should be looking at upgrades, but look at my dosh. Don't judge me. Okay, so up to fifth. Okay, so plus 40 in the race. We could do a little bit like that, you know. Let's take a longer term view on this. And stop there. So that now is already an improvement, at least when it comes to race trim. In qualifying trim, that will not work for Barney at all. I don't like that percentage of reliability either. Corp speeding, plus <laughs> five marketability. Excellent. Barney. Naughty boy. So again, if I can just do that. Where did we get that to? 71. Okay. I can deal with that. Let's go 15-15. Because essentially when it comes to the race, that's now on 99, which makes that gearbox better than whatever Esteban can be race-wise. That is the key. It is all about the race. So don't expect Barney to be rocking it when it comes to Quali Smith. Okay, sponsors. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not good, is it? Right. Underly, underly. Um, I'm mildly optimistic because it's it's our rear wing, which is great. Our suspension slightly less so. Let's do it. Let's go for a sixth or higher again. What's the worst that can happen? Everyone grab your Dr. Pepper. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, I will take that gearbox with me. And pray that we get off the line okay. I think what this season has really taught me as well is how important it is to have a startup charge on the ERS. Uh, which I'd kind of really overlooked at the when I bought it, didn't I? I was I was contemplating just around the general recharge and stuff like that and cost, uh, but the the starting charge at the beginning of a race is crucial. Um, so long as your peeps actually use it, obviously, because then otherwise it's all a bit trash. So twelve, five, 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 yeah, six, five races left to go. I think the worst we can finish in the constructors really is third. The last year of payouts. 
hope hopefully with that rule change i hope we still get our standard based payout this year so that it can change for next okay so barney and vidali into the car so that we can get some cash from him now that we've spent it all on that suspension <laughs> uh where are we again we're at vancouver aren't we vancouver 19. nice uh, and it's dry throughout, isn't it? So, handy bandy. So let's go ultra softs so that we can be speedy Gonzales when it comes to qualification. Let's grab that in there for Vitali. Get it out and about. And of course, we're going to have much tighter practice sessions next year, which is going to really make me think, hmm, what are we going to really... go for. Uh, I don't want to lose those 10 seconds so he's going straight out for quali. Uh, white. You can do quali as well. That's fine. If you aren't making the grade we'll come in and switch you back. <laughs> so let's take a wee look at our little duo. Looking good, guys. Quite clearly faster. Those shows are just right. Good. This is like not Abu Dhabi, isn't it? Very difficult to pass by the looks of it, as per usual around the circuit. I seem to remember this being a difficult one to get round before. Oh, that works nicely. Okay, quality trim level one. Lots of tyres level one. I have to say, I think this is going to be quite... S mm, not slow, but I'm mildly concerned that we won't get through our programme. And look at the amount of people who are on soft tyres. Bit of a field spread though. A bit more than what we've had over the last couple of races. So clearly there is a tyre delta. Oh, please get to level 2 before you come in. Yes. Nice. Right, I want to essentially now just do race... Because I want to get race trim to level 3. Uh, and I want to get soft tyres to level 3, is my is my thing. Second and third though, looking good. Excellent, good and grey. Okay. Not as fab as I hoped. So, what do we want to do on the old handleroo? Let's give that a go, because it does feel like that's a bit aggressive. Uh, and let's do... Eight laps on the old soft. I just want it to pound round and round and round. Okay, we've got a great good grey. I'll do that. Also, just going to move you gently down one. And the idea around this, I'm going to have you just do four. I think. Yeah. Mm. Be okay for them. Very keen to see Aerith was fantastic. Glad that that is a step forward. Oh, we didn't change anything for white. Really happy with the gear ratios. Okay, so that's a step forward for Volkov. Good.
Can you soften the handling a bit? I need more stability through the corners. Okay. That seems just right. So that was an improvement for whatever we've got there. Too much roll in the car handling feels too soft. So again, both the same issues. Interestingly. I'm quite keen, I think. Let's bring them both in. And we'll sort them both out. Yeah, there, we've gone the wrong way. Hmm, or have we? Because they were both saying, can we soften? But actually, it's, it means harden. I'll be very... Let's try it. Let's 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 ignore and do exactly what it says not to do, <laughs> um, and see what happens. Go go go. Now Volkov did say soften because it was rolling around, didn't it? But again, that too is said the wrong way. So what I'm going to do? <laughs> this feels cheeky. I don't care. Let's do. Let's go one down again, because then we'll actually see if the feedback is right or not. And then go. Away you go, dear chums. I'll we'll soon see if I went the right or wrong way. Nice job of the handling, it's much better. Oh, okay. Perfect gear ratios. I'm feeling very dubious about this whole thing. <laughs> Race trim level 3, well done, well done. Okay, come on in. We are all about the race. So, did that actually improve? It did! Wow! Okay, right, well let's save that setup. Uh, and we're not going back out. Handling isn't as respon- Okay, so it was- Wow, that's bizarre. I've never had it that the- um... that it really was terrible. <laughs> right, out you go, just for lulls. I just want to see if that feedback actually improves it, that's all. So, where are we at the end of practice? Fifth and sixth, although not many people done ultra soft runs, uh, and we're eight tenths, eight tenths off. That's not great. 
especially because it's a Steinman 1-4. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Please just have some kind of meltdown. Watching me mum. Camille has not been great for the last couple of seasons in that car. Which is great for me because it means that that's another one car team at the front. Right. Ultra soft and quali at 10% each. Ultra soft and quali, 10% each. Car setup, that's a 94. We are happy with that. And we're on ultra, so that's good there. Ah, it didn't save it. Right, so we are going for the 88. Essentially, we're going to follow suit with Ribeiro. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Now, if we got to 120, 120 to 44. Yeah, we've got just about enough time if we're first guys out. Right, so let's get Barney straight out there. And I want Ribeiro just a few seconds behind. Auto and auto, please. Because this is going to be one of the tightest ones out there in terms of how we get on. Cold, overheating, cut. Oh dear, okay. Hmm. Problemo. Potentially for both our guys. Okay, right, the bureau. Oh, four and six tenths off from Becca. Okay, and Nina in between us. You know what? That's not so bad. Oh, okay. Where'd Schmidt come from? Oh, White's clinging on. Uh, yeah, this isn't great. Everyone within a second. Really. We'll have a second go of it, that's okay. Uh, right. Let's get Ribeiro out there now. Fresh tyres and go. And then we'll have White follow. It's really weird how I've kind of started to swing the way of actually Barney or Barry. Barry White, our friend, is now like the last one out over the line and all of that kind of stuff. Compared to before, where it was always Ribeiro's been our main guy, but he's not at the top of the championship. It's, it, I feel it's like a Eddie Irvine 99 scenario <laughs> in a good way. Hey, overheated and perfect for White. That is good. Ribeiro's also still not got his tyres quite right, but let's see how we get on. Two temps down. Come on. Three down. This is way better. Uh, tenth. Thirteenth. Ooh. Wow, look at how close it is. Ha ha ha! White's going to have such a better gearbox when it comes to the race. It just needs to be able to get across that line because it's going to have minus 10% of reliability. So we're gambling a little bit. But we'll be okay. Second and third. Steinman, why have you gone and got your act together? 
This makes me sad. <laughs> okay, so not a great session from us. Uh, which kind of instantly makes me think, right, let's play the long game. Which is kind of the game that we were going for anyway. 44 laps, what we got. Oh. Soft tyres and race trim. Soft tyres and race trim. Let's take a look at car setup. Cool, that did put him at 94%. Uh, so let's again go soft, because we can go soft. Well, my hope is that we can go soft in an ultras. And kind of do a reverse a route strategy here. Um, and if we absolutely ruin the tyres, we can do soft soft. If we really need to. Uh, I'm hoping not to though. Uh, let's go high, high. And a push and a push. Okay. Do a quick save before we get going. Deep breath. Enhance your calm, Smithy. Enhance your calm. Hallelujah! What's the rock? Okay, ultra soft, ultra soft. Oh, immediately on to super softs there for Schmidt, interestingly. Like, what's a chariot doing in sixth? Krantz doing well. Oh, there we go, we're the top one there in ten. Camille's gone for it. Blanc will have ruined his... Oh, and Clark as well. How have they managed to wear only used tyres? I feel like they've not done this game properly. Oh, good start from White. He's got nowhere to go, though. Oh, who's that that's gone off wide? Pisani. Ah, oh, go, go, Mr. Ribeiro. Into 10th, or is it going to be White? It's going to be White. What a start. Oh, Ribeiro. Come on, mate. That is both Blanc and Surikov that you've got to now get round. Oh, I think that's going to bugger him. Don't let Frieda Fisher for it. Ah. Oh, ho, ho, look at that for a move. What a move. <laughs> Superb! Fred in the eye of the needle. Love it. Okay, so we're up to Chapman. Now they are on. Oh, he's on ultras though. We shouldn't be battling people on ultras, surely. I'm loving that we are, but wow. You know, Holtz has got round Schmid, interestingly. That is... Yeah, look. They're... We're all doing in like defence and opposition at the same time so 10 and 12 this is all very Force India let's see how we get on even though we're Sauber ok can we do much with this Ah, Ribeiro, come on. Well done. Keep Fisher at bay. It's going to be difficult, I know. Okay, so we've got Krantz. And it's going to be Bergman as well who's the other problem because Bergman is really out of place in that chariot. That chariot is not a fast car. So we just need to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to keep where we are. Ah, is that Rabira? Yeah, I thought it would be. That's okay. We kept Fisher behind for quite a while. And I've got a feeling that that battle's going to run and run. Oh, 14th. Oh, who's that? Barry White's cut a corner. Oh, no. We've not got a penalty, have we? Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Please let that not be true. I think he's got a penalty. <laughs> Lovely variation. Okay, let's just keep this up. Ten seconds off the lead. We're fine on fuel. Tyres are looking lovely too. Let's just keep this nice and sorted. Because we're the lead when it comes. To tyres and fuel. So let's start making a little bit of pressure in roads now for both guys. Because they're all erzing. So I don't know what you're doing there, Barney, but you, can, you are allowed to re-catch back up again. Where's Ribeiro? Ooh, this is a train and a half. I'm lippening of all drivers. Hmm. Okay, is that... I'd dearly love us to get round Berg's. Jens is not really who we want to be battling with. We should really be able to pass her. Come on. Mm. I tell you what, this is going to be a soft soft, isn't it? Ribeiro back up to 13. White's up to 9. We had someone in the pits. Krantz. Okay. Yes, past Bergman. Look at the oh, look at the tyre drop off from there. That's crazy. That is well worth noting. That that is a drama that has happened. Bergman onto the super softs immediately there. That looks like Frieda Fisher's in trouble as well now. Yep, pitting right the way round. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, 8th and 11th now. This is panning out not bad. Let's just keep those tyres nice and cushy for the time being, because if we can one-stop these, that would be amazing. But I'm going to high-fuel you, White, for now. But I don't want to high tyre wear you. Same for Ribeiro. Because if we can get to like a lap 23. Ooh, that's nice. That'll be mega, mega good for us. If we can. Vex is not really our fight. That's okay. White's up to six. What's happened there? Oh, it's people pitting. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. I think. Panther <laughs> raising have led team orders. Well, Camille's not going to keep Zoe behind for long, is she? This is where the gearbox is really showing up, I think. Car looking good as well. Up to third for White. Seventh now for Ribeiro. And we've been able to do a quote-unquote duty of care. What's worrying me, though, is look at Schmid and Holtz. They've been able to do it on super softs. I don't know if they'll be able to sustain it. Which is what we're looking to do. We only want the one stop. 
but the Ed is only four seconds behind, Camille a few seconds behind Ribeiro as well. This is all for Barney Wyatt. No, they've had to come in early. But they'll be able to do softs. Yeah, I thought Nina would. Schmid will do something the next lap round. Uh... No, Schmid goes again. Wow, I tell you what. Schmid, if you can do that well... <laughs> And keep that going, you have conquered this race. Okay, Ribeiro is up to let Becca through. I want you to do one more lap after this one, Ribeiro, and then you're pitting. Oh, yeah, look, Zoe's going to get right through. We just can't... Oh, okay. You can do that, mate. Alright, let's pit you in and let's go straight on. Uh, no need for part repairs. What's our... Oh yeah, we'll do that. Thank you. Now, I'll put you out right at the back. My word... be in primed and tickled position. Damn it, we should have done it that lap. I was too slow. on the fuel. Let's see if we can make something of it, because this is a slowish lap. Although lovely to lead. Ah, oh, damn it! Two mistakes! Come on, get back past that van door. That's exactly what I needed to happen. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, go, 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 go. Because Schmidt was leading, wasn't he? And now, this is, this is all about, not necessarily damage limitation, but it's, we need to keep kind of in and around because I think, no, Nina will not be pitting again, but she might come close to needing to. The Biro has really lost out. Only 10 seconds, but 6th to 13th. That is absolutely nuts. White is pulling nicely away though, so that's great. Flex are doing a good job, but it's look, it's Costa and... Uh, Damn you, Steinman. You can't have a 1-2. Make me sad. Okay, Barney's ahead of someone. Okay, so that's 12th now for Ribeiro. He's now up to Jens Bergman. Okay, go for it. See what you can do. Oh, because that's Vexler behind. I just want you to get past Jens Bergman. Oh, it's looking a bit painful, isn't it? Yeah, 
the beer is in trouble. Thirteen to go as well. Ah, affects the throat. Crumbs. Bergman's going to need to pit anyway. So let's just chill it out. And in fact, there is Bergman in and for a repair as well. So that's next. Blanc will be in. So Ribeiro will kind of re emerge back in the points. But oh, it's not been great, has it? Who's that in? That's Costa in. Which, ah, he's out just in front. No! Damn you, wench! Ooh, Vex has ran wide. Thank you very much. That gives Ribeiro back his eighth. Thank you. They're kind of now best of that kind of emerging battle. This is the right strategy to have done, but we just did not have the pace. White's had the pace though. I'm really impressed with how White has been able to re-cling back on again from what was not a great quality session. And this makes me think, improve, getting that gearbox was great. Oh Christ, what happened there to your car? Ooh, both cars, to be fair. Yeah, no, this was the right, the right way to do things. A little push for both of you now on the old tyres purely because White is closing down Holtz and Co. So, what I want him to be able to do is to push hard enough so that if those tyres do drop off for Holtz, and to be fair, possibly Sharp as well, and maybe Becker, there's still something begging here. And we've got to be careful because Schmidt's coming as well. Seems up on Ribeiro a little bit. I can't believe we're closing down Costa. Oh, no, we're okay. Uh, ignore, we're fine. Barney's got round. Who's that in? That was Sharp. She had to pit. Okay, who's next in problems? Ah, oh, Becca's steaming away. Ribeiro's pulled away from Vexler as well. That's quite impressive. I would not have expected that. I think he might come at the end though, but we'll give it a go. Okay, fourth now for White. But still Steinman's in front of us. There's a Steinman in the pits. That's Becker. Can we get him? Ah! Lipanen's in. Oh dear. Okay, a three and a seven. Come on, come on, come on. No, we can't do it. We're not, we're not close enough. Tyres are worked to perfection, but we just could not do it. I wonder which Steinman's going to win, though. Oh, Becker's got him! <laughs> How fun is that? 
Okay, White, just a few seconds clear. Maybe we could have pushed a little bit harder for that win. But from, what was that? 12th and 14th, or 10th and 14th on the grid? To get a third and a seventh in the reverse positions round, I'm pleased with that. And that came from good strategy. Schmiffy done it again. Okay. Let's save that. What we got. So yeah, look, they conked out with just a couple to go. Ha <laughs> ha. But it wasn't the guys that I needed to conk out. Damn you, Costa. You should have pitted as well. <laughs> now, did White have a penalty? Yes, he did. Ah, oh, 10 seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> you schnibbles. <laughs> uh, sixth and seventh it is then. Third on the road, though. I was, I'm still happy. I'm still happy. That was a case of what if. But it was still sixth, which meant that actually we got our money from our sponsor. So that makes me happy. Uh, what else changed there? So Pasc Oh, Becca takes the championship lead because Vexler had a shocker. We stay in third and sixth somehow. Uh, so that's good. Wolfgang Schmidt and Van Dalt. He did a good race, actually. I thought he was he could have done something quite shocking but he um did not thank christ uh jens bergman still only one point was doing very much above her station in that chariot yeah 46 off now it's looking highly unlikely isn't it you can never tell with this game <laughs> never So, let's see how it's all affected our positions. Came third, give me marketability, damn you. Okay, it's a bit poor then. And a million. Nonch. Ah, doesn't quite tell the tale. So, join us again next week, where we'll be attacking hopefully some new sponsors, judging by that graph, uh, and seeing what on earth will happen at Singapore. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.